there are two exhibits in Danville that I would encourage you to see because it represents the summer of work. Uh, all those outdoor paintings that Central Kentucky artists, mostly around the Danville area, did. And the second exhibit is sponsored by Gathering Artists and Linda Ross on the second floor. And that was on the theme of Unmask. And unfortunately, there have been some setbacks with variants of the COVID pandemic. And so Unmask was to celebrate the end of the restrictions and instead we've returned to it. So the irony is that you need to wear a mask to see the exhibit Unmask uh, and the plain hair exhibit as well. But it really would be great for you all to support the talent and the original work of these artists by a simple little trip to Danville between August the 7th and September 11th, 2021. It's uh, free to view and see the work, and you might even find something you want to buy because all of the art on display is for sale, or at least most of it. You're looking at the first floor and all the plain air work that we did this summer, or the best of the best from each of the artists in the plain air artists of Central Kentucky. I just think it's uh, wonderful to be associated with such talented people. I hope it rubs off on me. I know that I've definitely improved and made a lot of progress this summer because of my involvement with three plain air groups, including this Danville group and a Lexington group and a newly formed group over in Mount Sterling. That is John Dixon's collage, which is amazing. He cuts pieces of paper, and look how that looks like a painting. It's just amazing what he's able to do by cutting different colors of pictures for magazines and that, and then pasting the pieces together to make his artwork. That's Joe Forgax, who did his in uh, pen and ink, and there's uh, my sunflowers in pastel from one of the paintings. That was the Danville Farmer's Market painting that I did on location and uh, the Forkland Farm painting in pastel. There's a few more of the items and now I want to show you what truly was a pleasant surprise to me. Look at that. I made the cover of the poster and the promotional information about the exhibit. There's the address, there's the dates but uh, there's the reproduction of my Danville Farmer's Market painting. So that was quite a thrill to see that. Gathering Artist is the group that sponsored the Unmask exhibit, and that's on the second floor. That's Joy Unmask of Ruby when she stepped into the ocean for the first time at Hilton Head after the restrictions were lifted. And I thought it represented the theme of Unmask well, her joy and thrill of being in the ocean and I think it kind of represented the freedom of being able to travel and go on vacation. That is what made the cover of the poster for Unmasked, Linda Ross, who's the head of the Gathering Artist group. And I just love her whimsical nature and, and her humor and it comes across at her art. That's Linda there. And uh, this is the rest of the exhibit. Again, that's on the second floor. So there's two floors of exhibits. Those are uh, portraits that Linda did during all those uh, Zoom conferences and times when uh, we couldn't associate with each other. And so she did portraits of a variety of the artists. So August 7th through September the 11th uh, in, on West Main Street in Danville, Kentucky, the art center of the bluegrass. Uh, would really encourage you to go and take a look and support local art.